Hello and happy candle day to you. So I'm here with a pretty small, modest Bath & Body Works candle day haul, um, but just wanted to chat a little bit about candle day as we do annually. Um, mostly I am going to be talking about the Mary Mashups collection. That's the collection that I got the most and cared about the most. Um, yeah, a lot of the collections that came out were full of repackages and some returning scents, and some people I know were very excited about some of those that were returning. Um, but, you know, by the time you've been collecting the candles for almost a decade and you have, you know, all of those and those and there's, there's more <laughs> all over my house, you know, um, chances are if it's a returning scent, I have it. <laughs> um, so I really am just here for the few new things that have come out. Um, so yeah, I got a few from the Mary Mashups collection and I have some thoughts on that. Um, I also got Tipsy Elf, so just a few things, but um, before I get into the haul, just kind of the experience with Candle Day, feel free to fast forward if you're not interested, but um, you know, it was the easiest Candle Day yet, I think. Um, the store was not crowded at all. Um, you know, I've been doing this for, again, like almost 10 years now. And definitely pre-COVID, it was a lot more nerve-wracking and there were huge lines and there was always a scramble to get the new one. I remember um, a few years ago, the year French Baguette was like the hot candle. It was just like, oh my gosh, everyone has to have it, but every store only got six of them. And oh, it was just a big deal. And the year after that, it was like the sugared blueberry donut and cereal marshmallow bar where you had to have them and they were going to sell out immediately. So you better go stand in line. And I did. I stood in line in the dark, in the cold outside the store at 5 a.m. Um, and the thing about that is there is a little bit of a satisfaction then when you get them and you get out of the store and you're like, yes, I got everything I wanted, you know. Um, I don't know. And now it's, it's a little more tame. <laughs> Uh, I have a hard time trying to figure out if I should shop online or not, you know, and this year I decided to well, first of all, what I do like better now is that they have the candles out the day before. So you can smell them ahead of time. And so I went on Thursday and they had Mary Mashups out. They had everything out that was going to be out Friday morning. So I could smell them and decide if I wanted them, how many of them I wanted. So I had my game plan. And then I decided I would get the bare minimum. It was either buy online or don't buy online and go at 5 a.m. the next day. But I decided I'll get the bare minimum of what I would want online if I can, and I, I did. And then that way, if I show up the next day to the store and everything is sold out, I at least got what I really wanted online. But I did end up going to the store, but just not at 5 a.m. I just went when I got up. <laughs> so I shopped online last night. I got one strawberry snowflakes because I had got the single wick of that with a promo and I actually liked the single wick. It's, um, I think I said this in my last video, but it's kind of like strawberry pound cake, but just like without that bakery, like sweet vanilla note, but it's good. It's pretty strong. So I got a three wick in that. I got one tipsy elf, one, um, Aloha Kiwi passion fruit and Tinky beach, one sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. Uh, no. Yeah. No, I got two Alohas online, one lemon blueberry, and two cinnamon spice vanilla. Yeah, and then one Tipsy Elf online. So I got seven candles online where you can't use a coupon. I was online at, you know, it, it went live at 7 Central. I was online at 6.30, put in the line, and then when 7 hit, I was told, I, first it was like, over you have an over an hour, an hour wait. Then it was like 8.40, then it was like 8.20, and I ended up getting on at 8.22. My shopping cart was saved from earlier that day, so I was just really, I could check out really fast. It was no big deal. Then I decided, okay, since I got what I wanted online, I can just sleep in tomorrow. But I still ended up getting up at like 6.30 because that's when my boyfriend's alarm goes off. And so I was like, okay, I might as well just get up and go. I ended up going to the store at like 8 and they still had everything, tons of it all. And I asked, you know, how many people were here at 5 a.m. waiting in line? And the girl was like, you know, like compared to other years, hardly any. I think we had maybe 12 people in line at 5. And I was like, wow, that is very different. I've been there before when the line is blocks down, um, you know, at least 50 people in line. So, uh, yeah, this was like very chill. And I was like, okay, I definitely didn't need to order online, but I picked up five more candles in the store with my 10 off 40 coupon. One was for my mom and uh, four for me that I have right here. And now there might be some exchanges that I end up making when I get my online order, but that's okay. Cause there are some post candle day candles that I am interested in as well. Um, so 
the blueberry marshmallow bar. It's starting to pop up on Instagram now that some people are finding it today. I've heard everything about it. I've heard it's, uh, it's, you know, they have it in the back, but they're not putting it out on Friday. But if they run out of candles on Friday or maybe tomorrow, since tomorrow is candle day as well, they might put it out, but you don't know when your store is going to put it out. I've also heard not all the stores have it. It's not going to come out till after candle day. I don't know, but I want to smell that one. I have a strong feeling that it's probably a repackage because they've done a lot of different blueberry scents. Could be sugar blueberry donut, could be blueberry biscotti. I don't know. Could be blueberry sugar. I'd be mad if it was just blueberry sugar. I don't think it will be though because it has that marshmallow note. So that, I don't know. Yeah, I smelled my blueberry biscotti today and I was like, I could see this being called blueberry marshmallow bar. I could see that. So <laughs> if it's a repackage, I won't need it because I have all of those. Um, but I I'm curious about it. And then I'm also curious if pistachio and vanilla is pistachio ice cream as people are guessing that it probably is. And if it is, don't need it, have that one, have plenty. Um, and that's a very sweet scent. I'm not even that into it, but if it's not that, then I would be curious about it. But those are supposed to be both like later releases. Maybe we'll see them tomorrow. Maybe they'll be post candle day. So I probably will go to the store tomorrow just to see what I can find. If I find anything significant, I will be posting it on my Instagram at candles and music. But today <laughs> I'm here to finally now, six minutes into the video, talk about the candles that I got. Um, today and online really too because I just got more today of the ones that I got online. Uh, I'm going to start with Merry Mashups. Uh, so the ones I, there were five that came out with the new mashups. I like the mashups but it's like half of them, this happened with the last mashup collection too, like half of them were, seemed to be like new and actually seemed to be blends of the two cents they were saying they were blends of. And then half of them were just like repackages, like how Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake is just um, a peach meringue, which is great because peach meringue was great, but there's no strawberry in it. It's just like a creamy peach. And I'm like, okay. Um, but yeah, this year or with this uh, batch of mashups, I feel like it was the same situation. First of all, the Ocean Driftwood Gardenia one, not my thing at all. Smells so strong, like that Gardenia candle. And I'm not a floral person. So that one I knew I was going to pass on. But as soon as I heard the name Cinnamon Stick and Waikiki Beach Coconut, I immediately thought of Tropical Spice because they've already put out a candle that is a tropical scent that has a little bit of a coconutty-ness to it with cinnamon and spice. So I right away thought that's got to be Tropical Spice. There's, there's no way that it's not. And I don't like to toot my own horn too much, <laughs> but sometimes it's like, again, I've been doing this for so long. Sometimes I call it and I called it this time because I smelled that Waikiki and cinnamon stick candle and it's absolutely 100% a repackage of Tropical Spice, which before it was Tropical Spice, it was the Bangkok uh, Golden Temples and Spice Candle. And before it was this, it was Tropical Spice, but under the Slatkin name. And I had one of those back in the day too, but uh, that is long gone. But yeah, I mean, it's the Waikiki and Cinnamon Stick is Tropical Spice. So if you already have that, you might not need any more. That's the situation I was in. I will say that Cinnamon Stick and Waikiki Beach Coconut are both like super strong. So an actual blend of those two would be crazy and probably not good. Um, this is less cinnamon than cinnamon stick and it's less coconut than Waikiki Beach coconut. Uh, but it's it's an interesting blend, the way that it comes together. Um, I do like it, but yeah, I just didn't need any more. So um, the ones that I uh, got from that collection, the other three I did pick up, I got, I got one of these online and one in the store and I don't know if I'll keep both, sugared lemon and blueberry sugar. Um, so the notes here are sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice and sugar crystals. I'm really not sure how I feel about this one. I'll have to burn and I'll post my thoughts on Instagram of what I think after it's been burning, but it might be new, but it reminds me of a uh, very sangria freeze. It reminds me of like a little bit of what was the one that came out? Black Cherry Seltzer came out uh, not that long ago and it was sort of similar to like Berry Sangria Freeze. That one's definitely more Black Cherry. I wouldn't say that this is exactly the same as that, but they've put out a lot of candles that kind of smell like that Berry Sangria Freeze scent from years ago. And this is kind of in the same vein. I'll just say that. I don't know if it's exactly the same. I don't know if it's an exact repackage, but it reminds me of those because it has like the tartness with a little bit of berry. It's not sweet. 
And I don't know, it just has a little bit, it's just, it's just I don't know. There's something just kind of almost astringent about Berry Sangria Freeze that I'm not a big fan of, and I'm kind of smelling that here, so that's why I just don't know that I'm really going to like it that much, but it's very sour. So I don't know. It, I, I don't really know how I feel about this one. I generally like blueberry candles, but burning, I can see it. Uh, I'm predicting that when I'm burning it, it's just going to smell really sour, so I just wasn't sure about that one. So anyway... One that I think I will like is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit and Tiki Beach. Um, I got two of these online and then one in the store today. Notes are Tropical Passion Fruit Radiant Kiwi and Toasted Coconut. Oh, and Vanilla Musk. Now, these are two candles that separately I like. I like Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. I feel like it's really juicy when it's burning, even though it is sour too. And then Tiki Beach, I love burning that one in like January when you want to... <laughs> You're done with the holidays, you're sick of the winter, and you want to pretend that you're on a beach anyway. It's a good January candle. I get both in this. I think I get more Tiki Beach, which is fine. But sometimes I smell it, and I smell the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, and then other times I smell it, and it just smells like Tiki Beach. It's really tricky like that. Let's see, I have those other ones here. So I've got a Tiki Beach, and it's like, okay, this definitely has more of a sour note. But it is not near <laughs> as sour and fruity as Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. This is the first iteration of Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. There have been many since. Um, it really is kind of in the middle. So I think with this one, they legit did, to, did take the two candles and put them together, but I feel like it's heavier on Tiki Beach. Maybe just a, a little bit more fruity version of Tiki Beach. Uh, so I think I will like that one. I don't know if I need three. Maybe one will get exchanged for a post candle day candle or something. Um, I also got two of these online and one in the store. So now I have three total and I don't know that I'll need three. Uh, but cinnamon spice vanilla and hot cocoa cream. This one also smells like a legit blend of those two candles. Milk chocolate ground cinnamon vanilla bean. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla Paris Cafe, Paris Cafe candle, uh, which was in the last mashup. In that, like, yeah, I get both. I really feel like it's kind of an equal blend. Maybe it's a little heavier on the hot cocoa and cream part. But you definitely still get the cinnamon spice vanilla, which is also cinnamon sugar donut under other names. So it comes together nicely. Um, it's a good blend. I think you're going to smell more hot cocoa and cream from this when it's burning. But I don't know. Again, I'll be burning it, posting some thoughts on Instagram after I burn it. Uh, so anyway, yeah, those were the merry mashups that I got. I don't know if I'll end up keeping all of the ones that I got. I'll have to burn them, see how much I like them burning, and then decide. Uh, and then the only other one I picked up today, because I only got four today in store once again, uh, was I did grab a tipsy elf. So, okay, the story here, well, first of all, the notes. Merry Vanilla Joy Jolly Nutmeg. <laughs> Reading too fast. Merry Vanilla, Jolly Nutmeg, a sneaky elf with a heavy splash of rum. Okay. Um, the speculation was that this would be butter rum eggnog, and from the notes, it seems like it. And uh, the label is the same as the old butter rum eggnog. Um, but I have a butter rum eggnog from the release before that. This was like the first butter rum eggnog that ever came out with the People did not enjoy <laughs> these labels, but the Dear Santa, I blame the eggnog label. And I don't think it is the same. Uh, I do not think Tipsy Elf is butter rum eggnog. It might be a partly butter rum eggnog, but it smells much more kind of just like their frosted cupcake candle or, you know, buttercream frosting. Um, there is some eggnog in it, like... I feel like Tipsy Elf is like a blend or a mashup of butter rum eggnog and like one of their like vanilla frosting candles um, or vanilla cupcake or whatever uh, because it's not near as intensely eggnog as the butter rum eggnog. The butter rum eggnog candle is, I mean, I like strong candles, but I really have a hard time burning the three-wick of butter rum eggnog. It is a very strong. So maybe this is a good thing that this seems to be less that. Um, I think it's more like a quarter to a third of butter rum eggnog and then the rest is more just like vanilla. So the Tipsy Elf seems to be less eggnog to me and more vanilla. Um, I definitely get that vanilla frosting scent from it. 
the eggnog is there too. It's just not near as much as the butter rum eggnog. So I would say not an exact copy of butter rum eggnog, but similar, maybe just a lighter version of it, a more vanilla, less eggnog version of it. But I'm going to burn that one too and let you know what I think. So yeah, that's pretty much it for candle day. Um, again, I'll be going back, trying to get some of those post candle day um, releases as they call them and maybe they'll be out tomorrow or maybe they'll be out tonight or you know maybe they won't be out until after candle day but um, but that's that so it's a kind of a low-key I don't want to say anticlimactic but <laughs> easy candle day compared to past years so that's it but uh, yeah uh, let me know what you picked up um, and if there was anything that you were just like really gunning for that you had to have that you stood in line at five in the morning or three in the morning or whatever it is to get. Um, but this was all I needed and all I wanted. And uh, now I'll have to find room for it on the shelves back there. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.